So now we will talk about an interesting area that is Newton's ring. An important application of interference in thin films is the formation of Newton's ring. This is a Newton's ring. When a plano convex lens of long focal length is placed over an optically plain glass plate, a thin air film with a varying thickness over here is enclosed between them. The thickness of the air flame is a zero at O, point O and it's increasing outwards from the point of contact here area. When the air flame is illuminated by monochromatic light normally, alternative bright and dark fringes circular rings are formed. With a dark spot at the center, these rings are known as Newton's ring. You are able to see the Newton's ring here. An experimental arrangement for producing and absorbing Newton's ring is depicted here. A monochromatic source of light, yes, is kept at the focus L1. This is the convex lens, the condensing lens L1. The parallel beam of light emerging from L1 falls on the plate G at an angle of 45 degree. The glass plate reflects a part of the incident line vertically downwards, normally on the thin film enclosed by the plano convex lens L and plain glass plate P. The reflected film from the the reflected beam from the R film is viewed with a microscope. Alternate bright and dark circle of rings with a dark spot at the center is seen like this.